All right, guys, everybody talked about Ryan Garcia. Now it's Papi's turn. So first of all, I don't condone pets whatsoever, period. But let's talk about the inconsistencies, the penalties, the millions of dollars. I do not understand it. We should have a commission, okay, that oversees everything, every state, because Canelo Alvarez gets popped in a different state, gets six months. Shane Mosley gets popped and gets zero. So you're telling me that Ryan Garcia gets a year and millions of dollars? That is not right. Let's talk about Devin Haney now. Devin Haney, you're pathetic. You're dancing around in the bowling alley because you got your decision reversed. Nobody's gonna forget about that beating you took. Oh, and let's not forget, you're accusing me of not paying you? Bro, you just do not sell. That's the bottom line. You can audit my company anytime you want. I pay every fighter, and I'm pretty sure you got that from Canelo, what he started. So bro, that one year layoff, that retirement, just enjoy it. Oscar, the other day you said Canelo tested positive twice for PEDs. So what's your, what's your thoughts on Ryan doing the same thing, testing positive twice? Twice? Yes. Well, who, who tested positive twice? Ryan, the day of and the day before. We're gonna we're gonna get all the information from from okay. the uh, commission, okay. and then we'll we'll obviously you know make a statement. But uh, right now we have to get the B samples and all that you know. So um, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. But you know it's like there's no room for anyone to cheat, and I strongly feel that Ryan did a cheat. I would be remiss if I didn't respond to the man I used to promote. He seems to have trouble remembering who helped him become a true global star. To be clear, I have nothing but respect for Canelo. Alvarez as a fighter, his record and abilities speak for themselves. But he has spent much of the last two months insulting me rather than promoting this fight. So I'll make it a little bit easier for him. Yes, I have faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yes, I've been to rehab several times. Yes, there were some really low points in my life and yes, there were times that work was not my priority based on my mental health, which I had neglected for so long. But that doesn't change the fact that Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez, period. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. As for Jaime, he has always dared to be great, just as he's this Saturday night. And this serves as a bit of a search full circle for him. Remember when Jaime was 21 years old, volunteered to step in against Triple G, and Canelo failed two drug tests? Though Jaime wasn't allowed to fulfill his dream, 2018, on Saturday night, he will do just that, fulfill his dream and be world champion. <laughs> All right, let's have everyone.